it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making feathers. Look at this. So I um, tried out a various amount of feathers <laughs> and I came up with these. Um, I did this one in a three and a half which I think is too holy. Then I did this one in a three which I think is just fine and so hook number three for me at least and <clears throat> I did this one in one color and it didn't have the definition for me that I wanted so this one here in the four colors or the three colors in any case um, I liked very much so today we are going to do one in purple colors so we have palma violet violet and lavender and this is the order we are going to do them in. And I also have my scissors, obviously. You'll need a needle to put the ends in. And I would suggest maybe some stitch markers as well, just so that you can indicate some places that you shouldn't forget to go into. So let's get started. Starting with your base colour, uh, we are going to do a slip knot. Insert your hook and you are going to, to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now <clears throat> you're going to skip the first stitch here. And into the next one, you are going to do five single crochets. I'm using American terms, so don't get confused. One, two, three. So you're picking up into that chain, four and five. Okay. And guess what? We have now made the little end here. Okay. Now you are going to do another seven chains. So one, two, three, four. That's the base of our feather. And now we are going to do our first chain three or turning chain. And that is three chains so that's seven in total okay I have held my finger my thumb on that fourth chain because this is going to count as our first stitch okay and in that first stitch so you could possibly put a um, stitch marker in there but it's not really necessary because we're going to use it straight away into that first stitch we are going to place another two double crochets so, <clears throat> yeah, don't forget that place there. Yeah, there we go. So that is really in that fourth chain from the bottom, you are going to place three double crochets. Although the chain three that we needed to turn counts as our first double crochet. Okay. Now we have here three chains left. In those we are going to do three double crochets but we are going to do them together so you finish it half yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two but then don't finish it and you do that three times okay so you now have four loops on your hook and now you yarn over and you pull through all the four loops on your hook. Now we are going to have a look at the stem because we want to make the middle of the feather here so it lies on top. So we are going to start with that straight away. So you yarn over and you are going to just wherever you can go around that single crochet as if you were doing a front post double crochet. Oh, I think my yarn has split, so let's do that again. <laughs> In the 
it happens, so go round that single crochet each any way you can and you do a double crochet, okay? So that now is ready for doing those relief um, stitches there later on. Now we are doing the other side of the feather and we have one, two, three, four chains here to be used. And so the first three chains, we are going to do the same thing as just now that we did here. We are going to do three double crochets together. So the first one, the second one, and the third one. Okay, then we pull them together. And then we have that very first chain left over. If you don't, <laughs> try just to find any location that you can go in. I am going to try here. It might help to just turn your hook. There we go. And I am in into something at least, but you must do one. Um, you know, you must do your stitches there. So three double crochets into that same first chain that you did. Here we go. And that is our first line done. We're going to do another one. So we are chaining three. Then you turn and just like before we are going to place in that very first stitch we are going to place three double crochets so you add two more to your chain in that same stitch and then oops <laughs> it helps if you just hold on to it then we are doing those three double crochets together over the next three stitches and then you are doing that um, <clears throat> double crochet in the middle, but we want to create a relief here. So I'm going to put that on one side only. So this is the one front side, this is the back, so there is no relief here, okay? So <clears throat> on, you're always going to have to make sure that when you do this, you choose to do it on the right side, your front loop or back loop loop only uh, front post excuse me front post or back post double crochet so this was a back post double crochet in the next um, round we are going to have to do a front post double crochet because the relief stitches will be facing us okay now on to doing those three double crochets together on the other side that's two and that's three and now I'm going to put them together and then here in that turning chain you have your last stitch to do your three double crochets so sometimes it's not so easy to see where you're working or what you should be working in but you know you've got to do that there, so just try and find a location to do it in. Okay, so then I am going to change colour. So I'm going to cut this off and pull it out. And there we go. So that's how far we are. So as we did that um, back post, double crochet, it's now on this side lying on top a little bit, but it will come up a little bit more. Okay, so now we are going to our next colour and we are going to have to start in this stitch here. It might come undone a bit, so I suggest you sew it in. Um, I might just quickly do that just to show you. So you put your end on your needle and you go into the stitch like this. This is what I do anyway, there we go. And that then holds this stitch nicely down so you can use it. Off with the next color now. So 
I have been, I have a lot of leftovers, so I have rolled them all up nicely. <laughs> I have made a slip knot. We are going to do a standing stitch. So that means you yarn over because we are doing a double crochet into that first chain here and you do your first double crochet and we have lift off. So we need to do three double crochets in there. So you do your three in there. There we go. Now we have three stitches left and that's indeed where we are going to do our three double crochets together. And put them together. This brings us back to that front where we need to do the relief stitches. Let me just cut off this bit here because that might be confusing. <laughs> and now it the relief stitches are facing us. So we are doing a front post double crochet like this, okay? So you are going around the actual post of the stitch. If you hear a funny noise, that's my cats, they're chasing each other. And then we go on to the next three stitches here. Can you hear them? <laughs> They're having a race. Oh dear. And you do your three double crochets together. And then you have to find in that turning chain your last stitch opening to be used. And you are going to do your three double crochets in there. I just find any opening, to be honest. Um, if it's clear enough, I'll use that one, but sometimes it just isn't, but I know I have to do that in there. And there we are. So, once again, I am going to change colour. So, like I said, you only need tiny, tiny leftovers for this. So, an ideal project to use up some of those tiny leftovers. And I am going to turn my work. I like um, keeping on turning just to, I don't know, just to, you know, do what I always do, basically. So again, so in this end, but for, just for now, I am just going to get started. Um, if you don't sew it in, you will see what happens. It comes undone a little bit. So you just need to remember to sew it in later on, of course. Um, but it might just look a little bit funny because... It doesn't stay in nice and tight. There we go. Okay. And then we do our three together again. So first three in the first one, then three together over the next three. And then we are doing that middle one again. So you yarn over. This time it's a back post. So we go to the back of the work, go under it like that pull it up and we perform our normal double crochet and that means we now have the relief on one side okay and you continue with doing your oops that's too low <laughs> three doubles together there we go and then here in that very first standing stitch you just go into it and you do your three double crochets. Yep. There we go. And once again, we are ready with this color. I am going to cut it off. Yes, there will be a lot of ends. <laughs> and now the cat is here. Leilaka, please. I'm filming, darling. In a minute. <laughs> yeah, she's um, putting her nails into my clothing. Oh dear. Right, so back to the violet here. And as we are using standing stitches, again into that first stitch. And I do my double crochet, there we go, and another one. But of course, hold on to that stitch below that you didn't sew in just yet, because obviously that will open up a little bit. 
and now we do those three together. See, it goes quite quickly together. And now again, we're doing a front post double crochet once again. Ah, oh dear. Once again here, yarn over three double crochets together. There we go. Oh dear, she's now onto her little cloth where she can put her nails in. That's good. Better than my clothing. <laughs> and our three double crochets in that very last stitch, which, which was our standing stitch. There we go. So once you've done this, you are now going back to your main colour. Uh, ob obviously, you can do however many other colours you want. Um, you can do it in one colour, saves you sewing in all these ends. Um, and there we go. So I finished here, turning round now. Um, but at one point, you have to reduce your stitches to make the point of the feather. So I am now going to do two rows of Palma Violet as we have done before. Okay, so with now a back post and then the other side a front post. So I'm going to, two, to do two more and then I will meet you to start reducing our feather into what looks like a little bit of a point. Okay, and in the meantime, I shall also be brushing my cat. <laughs> I will see you when you... Did you hear that, Leila? Yes? I'm on my way. I will see you when you have done these two rows here. Okay, so I am back and I have done my two rows here of that Palma Violet. I have also sewn in the ends because that's made it look a lot nicer for you. So we are now going to chain three. So this is where we are going to start reducing. If you feel you want your feather longer, do go ahead and keep doing the normal rounds as we have been doing. But this is a reduction now and we are going to go into the point, okay? So chain three, turn. And instead of doing three double crochets, we are doing two this time, okay? So two double crochets into that first one. So the chain and a one extra. And then we do our three double crochets together just like we did before. together and here we are doing a back post double crochet there we go then our three double crochets together and once again we finish as we started with those two double crochets and then we do two double crochets in that last stitch or in your turning chain in any case there we go Okay, so you can feel it's going sort of in a little bit already. Chain three. This time we're only doing one in there and we only have two stitches left here. So we can only do two double crochets together. Okay, then a front post double crochet and once again here we do the same as on the other side so we do our two double crochets together 
and then a one double crochet in the turning chain there okay so that's brought it in quite considerably okay we are now ready for our last round so we are going to chain two turn now we need to do two double crochets together so we've already done the chain two which counts as our first double crochet then in the next stitch you are going to do your second one but only half and then you finish both okay now we are at the location where we do our front post double crochets there we go and from here is of course a back post and then we do those two double crochets together again so one and then the second one needs to go in somewhere into that chain there we go and we bring them together like so and this is the end of our feather so we are going to cut off the yarn and you'll have to sew in all your ends, which I've already done, which I'm pleased about now, because I can show you a really nice feather. There you go. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!